We want to brew our own K-Cups in our new Keurig 2.0 machine. Unfortunately, we are not able to brew anything besides an approved Keurig product. In attempting to do so, we get this message. So we found a workaround how to get around the competitive blocking mechanism that Keurig has initiated. What we do first is grab one of the Keurig approved products with the pink seal around the edges and we place it inside the Keurig 2.0 machine. We go ahead and brew the cup. Once you complete brewing a genuine Keurig K-Cup 2.0 capsule, remove it cautiously because it will be hot and for a short period run some cold water over it. All right. Once this is complete, slowly and meticulously you should be able to remove the lid from the plastic. How I've done is I slid a hole right through the middle, yes, and then grab that end and then start pulling cautiously at the edges but make sure you pull from the outer edge now because you just brewed a warm cup it releases the plastic lid releases the foil lid releases from the plastic fairly easily that's why we brew the cup before we attempt to remove the foil lid from the plastic cup as you see here it just comes off fairly easily we put on that cold water because we wanted to make sure it was slightly cooler so it was easier to handle. Now rinse off the lid and come back to your little craft station here. Dry off the lid and essentially what we're going to attempt to do is Tape the foil lid underneath the machine. All right, so we're going to grab a piece of tape and use a heavy duty tape, something like a shipping tape or something of that sort. And put the adhesive side up leave the adhesive side up, take the lid with the printed side up and put it in the middle of the tape with both of them side up essentially. Now you'll notice the sticky part is on the top and the printed part is on the top as well. Now take this taped lid, take it any cake up now and and create a second piece of tiny tape to essentially make a double-sided tape. Affix it on the cake up towards the left-hand side. Now you have a double-sided tape. Take that tape with lid that you just made, center it exactly where it would be as a, as a half of a lid, and put it on top of that double-sided tape. Now, take this cake up and put it into the machine with the tape pins out. And now close the top portion of the unit. Now open it back up. And you'll see that it affixed itself onto the machine where the sensor reads its digital rights management portion of the lid. 
Now I'll fix these ends onto the top portion of the machine. And then cut out any excess that's just sitting there. Just cut out that all that whole half. You can bring it down slightly if you need to make it easier for you. Great. Now take that extra portion of tape that you have. And turn that, cut that tape and turn it into a usable piece of tape. And continue to fix that bottom portion into the inner part of the machine now. It's a little tricky because we're trying to record and make sure the camera's sight doesn't get blocked as we're attempting to do this, but it's a lot easier when you're not trying to record. And now you'll notice this piece of lid is taped fairly aggressively on the inner part, and this is a permanent fix to use any K-cup or refillable cup that you'd like. Now, go ahead and close the apparatus, and you'll notice that you could go ahead and brew a cup of coffee. Enjoy.